What are the haps? Welcome, 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 welcome back to Valhalla. That's silly. No, I'm gonna go with it from. What's the haps? I'm a raccoon. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Valhalla. New day, new drinks. I've been experimenting with some things. I found some things. Um, I've got a couple of jars of things. I say jars because they are literally in jars. Uh, these are interesting things. We got Junior Johnson's Midnight Moon Moonshine, distilled from corn. Very American. Very very corny. Uh, these are things that I got for free, and they're not very good. So I'm going to attempt to make them good. We got these in at work for like a tasting session at one point, months ago, by the way. And we were kind of, you know, they would be sent to us as samples to see if we liked them, wanted to stock them. Uh, the general consensus was no, nobody particularly liked them. <laughs> we definitely did not want to stock them. Uh, and at the end of the day, a boss was like, look, I don't want these. We ain't selling them. We cracked open the cases. We can't exactly sell them, you know. Does anybody want to take them home? And I was like, well, you yeah, know, not to sound like too much of a keen alcoholic here, but if nobody else has taken them, I'll try and find a use for them. <laughs> I have never found a use for them, by the way. Uh, and recently, so this past weekend, I got to messing around with drinks in an experimental cocktail-y fashion. I was like, can I make anything out of these? Is there anything I can do with them? Uh, I don't have a lot left, but... I looked on their website, found some sort of recommended recipe, because we, when we tried them before, we tried them neat. And they were garbage. Do not drink it neat. Don't, 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 just don't. This one is cherry flavoured. I have another one here. Slightly smaller jar. Um, slightly lower ABV. The jar is actually the same amount of liquid, there's just less other ingredients. Because I guess the only way to show you is to show you the bottom of the jar. If you peer into the bottom of the jar, you can see there's, it's really hard to spot, I guess. There is something else in there. There's, yeah, you can see it sort of rolling around, maybe. There's a lump in there. That's cinnamon in that one. This one is apple pie flavored, apparently. Uh, and the other one, the other one's more obvious. It's got, I say it's more obvious, there we go. It's got cherries. It literally has cherries in there. The cherries have gone, they're, all the color has long since gone in them, and they have sort of a brownie gross color. It's pretty horrible looking. Uh, so yeah, those are the things we got. I tried, what did I try? I tried, Apple pie with ginger beer was surprisingly nice, actually. It was actually a really good use for it, actually. I didn't I didn't expect much. Did surprise me. It was pretty good, actually, that one. Uh, this one, uh, it said, oh, try mixing it with bourbon and... Christ almighty, what else was it? I think that was ginger beer. Yeah, it was bourbon and ginger beer. Uh, as you know well, I do not keep bourbon in. I should keep a bottle of something in, I guess, really, but hey, I'm a cheapskater. I don't buy it unless I, like, really need it. Um, and I do have that terrible scotch. So, I tried it with the terrible scotch. It was... Yes. It was potent! It wasn't nice, but it was potent. It'll knock you sideways, if nothing else. However, what I do want to try is the recipe... The website uh, does have a recipe which says, for both, which says, Mix it with tonic water, so we're going to do that. Fever Tree brand Mediterranean tonic water, because they were out of regular tonic water, so I don't know what Mediterranean is, it really doesn't specify to any great extent. Um, essential oils from flowers, fruits and herbs from around the Mediterranean. God knows what that entails. Probably some citrus fruits, herbs and things. God knows, I don't know. Crack it open and find out, I suppose. I don't think I've ever tried their Mediterranean. Fever Tree does good stuff though, as I've said before, so uh, yeah. Sponsor? No, 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 not really. But if Fever Tree totally wants to give me some money, I will totally shill for them because they make good stuff. Yeah, definitely, definitely some citrus in there. A lot of citrus in there, actually. Good amount of citrus. Mmm. So, somewhere between tonic water, I guess, and. I've not actually tried it, so I don't, I don't know if this is an apt comparison, but I feel like Bitter Lemon, which is another sort of similar-ish kind of mixer, used in similar drinks. Gin and Tonic is a replacement for tonic in the Gin and Tonic. Anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's mix one of these things. Uh, do you want to go with Apple or Cherry first? Go with Apple. I had better results with the Apple before. Let's find out what the Apple does. Ow, jeez, this thing's really stuck. Which tells you how much sugar there must be in it, because it, the sugar just sticks it shut. Well played, America, once again. Actually, I guess if it's American, it won't be sugar, it'll be like corn syrup. 
Well, I guess they had, did they add just like a crazy amount of corn syrup to their corn drink? Bet they did. They don't list any ingredients whatsoever. Grain spirit with natural flavors and spice is literally all we get on that. Um, right, let's see. This is awkward to pour as well. This jar is not only... Oh, it's very impractical. I can't see where my measures are. There we are. I can see them. Okay, so we do a double-ish measure of that. 40 mils, whatever. Pour that in there. Get rid of that. Is there... There's, there's, a, there's about... A, there's a couple measures in there, maybe, still. Uh, a spot of tonic to taste. Uh, let's find out what that tastes like. How much do we want? That might not be awful. That might be an alright drink. You know what? I can go with that. I can go with that. Yeah. I'm starting to think maybe the Midnight Moon stuff isn't as disastrously bad as once we thought, but you cannot drink it neat. It's, with a mixer, not unpalatable. Strange Beast, there's definitely, there's, there's so many flavours going on there. You've got your apple pie, you've got the apple and cinnamon thing going on with the apple pie, but then we've just added a bunch of, like, Mediterranean herbs and things. And all that citrus flavour. And of course it's tonic, so you've got that bitter quinine flavour coming through as well. It's an odd concoction, an odd medley of flavours, but all in all, surprisingly pleasant actually. You know what, I'll, I'll take it. I will take that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's load a game. Let's do that. Where the devil were we? We're at day nine in our room. I think we'd already looked through most of the news and things. Jill bought what she wanted, and she's pleased with herself. She bought. Uh, did, was this when we bought the shoulder massager? You know. Yes, I think we did. Uh, so we already checked up on all the news. Augmented eye. Yeah, no, we we we, we saw all these things. Let's, let's go straight to work, I suppose. Then today. Wednesday, December twenty-first. I really don't know how long this game runs. I think this game. It seems likely that. December 25th, you know, Mega Christmas. That seems like that would be a good day. That seems like that would be a good day just to end the game on, right? Are there four more days of this? I don't know. A rhetorical question, I'm not asking for spoilers, don't spoil me. I don't want to know how many days there are. Although I almost feel like I should know how many days there are so that I can prep for the last video. Because I want to make a really good drink for the last video. I have something in mind, to be fair. But... Um, yeah, if I don't, if I don't know where it is, um, if I can't, if I can't see it coming, that would be hard to do. So, I, I feel like also, you know, when a game's coming to an end, you kind of, you generally know these things, right? Right? Uh, ooh, tell you what, I've just realized, I, hmm, I haven't got my voice list up, so I'm going to require that, aren't I? Okay, I'm now a crypt. I can... I actually know what to do voices for people. Right, uh, let us head on into the day. Good evening. Ah, oh, Jill. Good timing. Is it? You two always make me feel like I'm late. If it helps, that dog isn't coming until sometime later. Anyway, do you have something planned for Sunday? I think I'm going Irish with that. I've not... I need, I need, to, I need to get into my uh, Scottish voice. Scottish. I should, do you have anything planned for later? That's, that's more Scottish. I've got an Irish. She's got Betty's voice. Ah, uh, watch silly mega Christmas specials with a thousand grams of black fur on my, ma on my lap? Why? I was thinking about holding a small mega Christmas party here this Sunday. You in? Uh, sure, why not? Alright, alright. Invite any clients you're acquainted with, the more the merrier. You didn't bring your cat today? The raid stopped, they found whatever or whoever they were looking for. Oh. Anyways, we better start working. Yeah, you're better. Let's pick some songs! Do, do, do. Right. Still got some blanks. Still got a lot of blanks. I have literally no idea how to fill in the blanks. I oh, know. Drive me wild! Gaze that invited. Umimoto! Um, not much of the White Knights. So that was far too dramatic. Uh, that one, that one, that one. 
that one. That one. I don't know what half these songs are, to be fair. And that one. Go. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valha. Uh, um. Okay. I mean. Why are we so hesitant? What, 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 what is being noted as odd about this character so far is just, just, just a woman's come in, okay? I'm wondering why Jill was so hesitant to address the lady it was in. Is it just because it's a new face? I mean... I guess she, she seems to be sort of... I don't know, very hard to judge from that. We've got nothing to go on other than the look. I, uh, the dot dot dots make me think. Sort of a, not quite there, maybe a bit of a whisper. I want a fluffy dream. Uh, may I see your ID, please? I don't have an ID because um, I'm the ghost of Mega Christmas Past. I'll haunt you constantly unless you give me a fluffy dream. Do you have money to pay for the drinks? Well, I... Do you? Yes, I have money. And girl asks for a fluffy dream, but she's gonna be crazy if she thinks she's getting alcohol so easily. Aha! I played a demo at PAX two years... two years ago? I feel like it may have been more. I think it was two years. It wasn't... it wasn't PAX this year. It was PAX maybe last year. It must have been last year. A year and a bit... a year and a half ago. At any rate. I played a demo at PAX a year and a half ago where one of the characters... In fact, I, I played on the friggin' channel, actually. It was last year, because uh, I played the demo later. You met a character who didn't have ID and you weren't sure if... or you were kind of more messing with them to see if they were underage. And I've been wondering if that was con whether that was like a standalone demo or straight up content from the game for a while now. And yeah, if you just didn't give them alcoholic drinks entirely at all ever, eventually you got to see a bonus character that you wouldn't normally get to see. So I guess fl does a fluffy is fluffy dream optional? Okay, yeah, it is optional. Yeah, I can make you a fluffy dream. I will just make you... that That's a fluffy dream, technically speaking. That was a non-alcoholic fluffy dream. Boom. There you go. Wow, I actually got a drink. Uh, so who are you here to stalk, Miss Ghost of Mega Christmas Past? Stalk? All oh, right, I'm a ghost. Uh, that guy, yeah. Oh, which employee did you leave without a Mega Christmas skill? Jill, please. What would be funny if you reacted to that. Sorry, kid, I'm not in the mood to humor you today unless you have some sort of ID. Yeah. Well, in a year or so, I would gladly serve you a drink. But until then, this is no place for you. But I already got a drink. Not an alcoholic one. You didn't expect me to really give you a drink, right? Uh, so if you pl would please leave. I, I can't leave. Not after trying so hard to even get here. Ah, uh, all right. Let's start from the beginning, Miss uh, Norma. How did you know my name? I saw your ID. It could have been a fake ID. I don't think you're stupid enough to make a fake ID that doesn't put you at eighteen at the very least. You're very sharp, Miss Bartender. You look like a nice girl, Norma. Why come to a bar like this? Uh, um, you seem like you're in a bad mood, Miss Bartender. No, she's just like that all the time. Shut up. <sighs> Sorry if I've been harsh. These last couple of days have been heavy. Having someone underage here reminds me of a certain incident from last week. I mean, how many days are we into the game here? I'm not actually entirely sure. An incident with an underage person from last week. There's no one that's come in, in the game game. And what if that's actually a reference to the demo? Which is interesting. Hmm. Incidents. Well, don't change the subject, young lady. Why do you come here? Why do you care? I can do what I want. 
Unless it's illegal, in which case anyone can, should, and probably will stop you. I... I just... I just... I just want you to be more wild. You know? Wild? My mom has way too many expectations on my shoulders. I've always been out to make sure I don't disappoint her. But it's never enough. It's never good enough to have good grades. She also wants me to go out and take a college prep course. I'm tired. I don't want to do things for her anymore. So you came to a bar? Maybe if I came back home smelling like alcohol, she would leave me alone. If I'm not good enough for her, I might as well kill any hope she has in me. It's funny, I have a friend who's also being pressured by her mother. Really? Yeah, but in her case, it's being pressured to settle down and form a family. Is this one of those friends? Friends? Quote, air quotes. I should probably do air quotes on the camera where I can see them, where you guys can see them. Is that a, I'm asking for a friend kind of thing? Yeah. I think it might be. Oh. So let me get this straight. You came here to make your mother disappointed. Yes. Do you like alcohol? Actually, I think it's nasty. Then you're doing things wrong. What? If you're gonna disappoint your mom, at least do it with something you like. Like, become a belly dancer because you want to be a belly dancer. Otherwise, you're just trying to hurt her for the sake of hurting her. Let's start with something. What do you What do you like doing? I, I don't know. I've been so focused on trying to be good enough, I haven't been able to think about what I want to do. Don't you think you should start there? Eh? What good is doing something just for the sake of hurting someone? If she gets disappointed in you over something you like doing, you have the right to protest. But if you're hurting her by hurting yourself over something you don't enjoy, sounds silly, huh? Very. Go home, do some self-discovery before hurting your mum, would you? Or at the very least, humour until you're old enough to move out. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Miss Bartender. Call me Jill. Jill, alright. Careful out there. In the end, you did humour her for a bit. Shut up. Oh, doggy! Oh no! He's here. We knew he was coming! Oh, hello, little girl! Oh, shit.